ako urong dito. And I said, I would stake my honor, my life, and even the presidency. The members of the media, uh, I'd like to thank you for honoring our invitation to share with us this moment uh, so that I, explain, I can explain to the nation, explain to you the, the hottest uh, plus point is uh, the, my order for uh, the Philippine Army. Uh, say, uh, to help in the implementation of uh, the law, the enforcement. Alam mo, it boils down to this, uh, drugs. It has created an aberration in our country. It has destroyed the lives of Filipinos. According to the previous PDEA, which can, they cannot agree with each other, it used to be 3 million during the time of Doria Arroyo. Sa panahon ko, because they were conflicting, so I will just sit there for the barest minimum. Parang walang ano. So it numbered to something 1.6 million affected Filipinos. Yesterday, uh, my, so, I think it's a crawler. Every day, the crawler, Nino, the media, is always about drugs, about killings, uh, uh, killing a young boy, a hapon, by a, an uncle, na nakita Nino, I think it's a, and then, sa, yung cellphone, ano, payat, walang kain, walang tulog. Yan ang immediate effect talaga ng drug. Hindi kumakain, malnourish, hindi natutulog, eventually, it destroys the brain. And uh, the numbers of Filipinos, I believe it more than just more than one one million six hundred. Yung bilang ni Bato. That was the number uh, given by Bato. Well, uh, maybe uh, there will be a truism in that statement. But to me, uh, mas marami ang Pilipino at kinatamaan. And to think that drug is really killing my country. And I have to protect my country. Because country are people, and people are country. What use, to, what use is to have a, a people that, but maybe a fourth of them crazy. It will cease to be productive, it will continue to be violent, and in the end, it would stand, uh, still uh, trouble for all and bring this country down to the top. Uh, I'd rather resign as president if I would have known that. I'm not so much into this uh, presidency, presidency, but mine is really trabajo. Now, I am. Sabi nila na it violates the Constitution. And the operative uh, words there are the uh, prohibition of appointment or designation. When I called in the army to help the Bureau of Customs, there was no designation. Uh, there was no appointment. And there was never an instruction for them to take over the functions of the employee. What I did was to, since I cannot investigate one per day even to determine the guilt or the innocence of a, uh, everybody there, uh, day by day, that would, 
that, that would take me almost 10 years to do that. So ang ginawa ko is just really to order them on floating status. But that was in particular order director for chiefs of offices and section chiefs. Yung mga assistant nila ang magtatrabaho. For after all, yung final initial or signature ng mga section chiefs or departmental uh, singer bear the signature, yun na yun. And that is, I said, operative of where the papers can run and finally gets approval from the highest and then the release. Ang ating pantalan is a big gap. Not only am I worried about drugs, but it is really so big as to accommodate all dangerous things, chemicals and all that. You could ship a bomb there at TNT, and for all you know, nobody really cares, or because he does not know. Or because there is somebody bribing him to have the cargo just slip by. We'd never know how much corruption and to what extent would be the dimension of the danger of this country. Drugs, biochemicals, everything. We are only concerned with drugs. But drugs is a problem. It has been raised to the level of a security, national security threat. By Arroyo, upon my advice, when I was working for him, when she was president, sabi ko mam delikado ito, because I know, as a city mayor, just like in all, almost the same factors affecting the tour or impact on societal endeavors. Kaya alam ko yan. Ngayon, kung sinabi ko lang, it is not only the pantalan that will be the subject of the takeover. Because there was no law and order in the customs. It is not because they are incompetent in computations or that they could not figure out how much the country would be earning if there are no cheaters. What I'm worried, actually, was that Shabu is a problem. It has been, I said, raised to the level of a national security threat. And the Pantalan is a huge uh, door there. And Shabu is entering the country almost every day. And hindi lang ngayon yan. And for those undiscovered, unknown shipments, at haka ng, you know, pagsabi sila sa Congress, do you remember that there was a commissioner who was even charged? Then, was a congressman now? Yet naman, it's easy to say, when I say, every administration, there's always a shipment of drugs. Dito, itong dalawang military, ex-military men, because I trust them, ang problema lang ito, nalusutan sila. But you do not solve the drug problems by not looking into the places where there are ingress or egress of things that would harm the country. All smuggling. We have the longest coastal uh, co Coast, the long coast. Oh. If you travel every island, 7,000 of them will stretch until Moscow and far beyond. So I have to control. But the only problem is, uh, sabi ko, there are employees. So you cannot just uh, drive them out. But I said you can correct the situation because there is a lot of smuggling. Historically, there was never a single day of a corrupt free day of the month in this country. Wala puro 
corruption ang nangyari niyan. And not only corruption money, but total na siya na pat drag, tunilada. It will have... Bakit? Saan ba yung pupunta? If I don't close that uh, gap there, where will that uh, able go? So yung nga uh, nabitawan, wala tayong mawe, swing, so now. No, and you have one million six drug addicts under my watch. And these guys are reduced to slavery. They are slaves, slaves to a chemical called Shabu on a lemon stir. I don't know about it. Yan ang problema. There is trouble outside the pantalan because ang pantalan mismo nagpapapasok. And that is part of the law and order situation. It has nothing to do with designation or appointment of any person. I'm just trying to control crime. I have not designated any subject to take over the evaluation or assessment of the value. Sabi ko, ibigay yan sa next in rank. Yung mga sikong tanggalin mo yun. Plotin sila. Because they would do one. Why should I not? Float them. They were the ones who sign, place their initials there. It would not have reached the door of, uh, of the desk of El Don and La Peña. Kung wala yung mga signature, yun. Yeah. Mayroon kasi ikaw pa. You have to sign in the office and you have to keep the watch of that goddamn machine there. At tapos yung iba naman hindi marunong. That even the, 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 the DPW would say that it cannot really ascertain from the looks of it just when you are outside. Because they are not really technical men. They are not chemists. They are not. When to say that there is something really terribly wrong with the custom. It's not the fault of Eldon. It's not the fault of the, everybody else who went up. As a matter of fact, was there. He was a congressman, but he was a scandal there, and he was out. Baski sino, ilagyan mo, baski ako. Ilagyan ko ng with license to pay. Wala rin, pera eh. And simply because it is really a mess for all itong mga gangster lahat. Bakit hindi ko lagyan ng army yan? Bakit hindi ko lagyan ng what I said? Hindi kasi marinig ito ng simple terms. Hindi naman army sinabi ko, it will be a government uh, military, uh, military takeover. Because ang ilagay ko in the meantime, yung chief, is a, would be another military man. Until I am satisfied that law and order is established in that area, the presence of the armed forces of the Philippines will be there. Pero ang ano nila kayo kung naman niya, civilian. Ano ba naman problema ninyo? Civilian supremacy over the military. Are we talking of numbers here? That when you say that the civilian authority is supreme so that every one of them must be civilian. Or if we put one military man there, and a few technical men of the armed forces of the Philippines, just see to it that everything is uh, done properly. <coughs> Militarization. Since when did the military commit an abuse there in this country during my term? Since when did I condone any wrongdoing of any military man? Tell me. But when I cannot get a relief, then I have to go for something else. So Jagger, I have known him. Eh, ito si Jagger, hindi tumatawa to. I don't know what's uh, wrong with him, but hindi tumatawa yan. So, let him be. <coughs> Siya ang kinuhaan ko because he never smiles at me also. And I never, I never knew him. All I know that he was serving in Dabo for quite a while. But when I began to search for men, eh, ito si Jack, ano yun, di ko makilala ko. 
for so, so long. We just, just met you all once. Uh, I was very impressed because they're in Tomatawa. <laughs> and then they said that he grew up in the intelligence community. So, well, good. You uh, went to Tomatawa. So, tell you more political dito for Taiwan. So, you have the, all the military, civilian dito. So, yung mga mukha nila kung strict to, yung natuto sila ng ganun. To say that uh, there's a militarization, how can that be? Masi Javier from Marina, uh, it's very sad, I know, because uh, he was quite uh, comfortably settled in that Marina and he wanted to stay there. But I told him, you know, uh, just let it up, you know. I, I, I am brother. You are insisting. I need somebody there. So, so Major Liz, Kari Liz na nung babae doon sa Maguindanao yun. She said, Magay, Maguindanao lady. Yeah, so, before coming here, uh, nag-usap kami. Kasi she was spared. Sabi ko kasi, well, nabi ko, butang ina, bitayin ninyo yan. Inyo. I will immediately order the suspension of the employment. Kasi kung hindi ko, ay, si Bebot na magpinto. Anong pinto mo nung bot? Para malaman ko. Malaman ito mga Pilipino na ito, no? mas marunong sa atin. Uh, this is the case of uh, Jennifer Valdez, the president, who was a household service worker. And she was accused of killing her employer. She was convicted and was sentenced to die by hanging. Pinatay niya dahil yung yung employer niya. Although nakakaduda, Mr. President, dahil yung size ng babae, that time I saw her, talaga napakaliit niya. Tapos yung kanyang employer is the size of Lebron James. Kaya mahirap paniwalaan na siya pumatay. So naset up siya. Anyway, when you learn about this, you told me that you tell the Emirates that if they kill Belkes, I will declare a total ban. So together with Administrator Kakdak of OWA, we went to Abu Dhabi, Mr. President, and we made the same instruction that you gave me, that I said, the President respect your justice system, but the President feels that if you harm his countrymen, then he just has to declare a total deployment ban for the entire United Arab Emirates. So, uh, after that, Mr. President, two months after, we learned na kinomute yung sentence niya of death to only three years. Kaya hindi pa na sa schedule three years, pinalaya na siya. And that's the girl that we... And they are inviting us to go there so that they can hang, they can be hung there. Obviously, natakot sila doon sa sabi niya, Mr. President. What I'm trying to say is, kung hindi ka magputang ina, Wala mong nangyari talaga sa bayan na ito. Totoo lang. If you cannot say, fuck you, God damn it, better behave. Kaya ganun. Walang katapusan yan. Every day. Yung tingnan ninyo. May, may, may TV man sa lupa. Kaya yung mga may istasyon, tingnan yung crawler ninyo. May nota yan naman. Dalawa. Araw-araw yan. Is that not lawless violence? When Shabu is... Uh, Imported, the other one na kalusot, in succession, tapos yung isa na bunggo. What do you think of that? A minor offense? You know that Shabo will go to the streets and be distributed and thus add more crazy Filipinos. And what will happen to my country? Ang ina, ang magsabi ko nga ito, ito na lang ang bayan ko, sirain mo pa, magpatay lang tayo. I will really kill you, that's why I said, do not destroy my country because I will kill you. Do not destroy our young daughters and sons because I will kill you. Do not put to knock the sacrifices of OFWs there, who endure rape, abuse, lahat na hunger, Pagkatapos yung pera pinapadala nila dito para sa mga anak nila, napupunta lang sa drugista. 
Ang pagdating dito to their agony and suffering, yung mga pera pinapadala nila, napunta lang pala sa mga drogista. Ang anak nila, dike, yung tawag sa Bisaya, yung oh, tawag sa Tagalog niya, dike, yung crack, Liki ang tawag sa nana, liki na. Basag na. Well, that is just a matter of designation or appointment. This is a national security issue. I have every right to call on the armed forces to assist the police. Ay mga police, karamihan mga gagon, putang ina kayo. Puro na sa droga rin. Sabi ni... Ito yung nagsabi? O si, si Albayalde. Ngayon yan, 1,600. Ang inang mga pulis yung mga... Papatayin ko talaga kayo. Ngayon. Do not give me that human rights. Pulis na dyan kasi droga. Ngayon, yung isang kernel. Sinang... May, may, sino yun, sir? Si Kernel, ano? Hindi, yung isa sir, yung pinatay, kagabi. May pinatay kagabi na uh, police Kernel. Nandiyan sa crawler. No. Pati yung mga Kernel. Yung mga generals, no? Hindi yung just brush the, the problem uh, We just think you cannot uh, call on the armed forces to... May, may pinatay ko dyan. Nandiyan sa crawler kanina. Crawler kanina sa pupunta ko dito. Pinasa rin siya ng polis. Polis rin. Tama yun. Pakiyan mo, sir. I am going to reward that policeman. Any policeman who will kill the superior because the superior is into drugs. I will give you a prize on a trip to Hong Kong. Oh, toto. If you have to convert it into money, oh. And yung ninja, sabi ko, yung mga ninja, di, it stands, ha? Three million ba yun, sabi ko? Oh. Patay ninyo, three million. Okay. Ano, ano, total, ang superior mo na polis, lalaban mo talaga yan. Hindi yung magpapahuli. One is that, hindi uh, yung magpapakahiya. Well, that's it. National security. Simply. What? Drugs. So, why? Oh, because it's a, a big gaping Think that, that uh, you can import anything. And what worries me is not only drugs. My, uh, my, my, uh, germ warfare or uh, a bomb or a, a container of the TNT. Ah, mawala yung buong kusto. Kasali pa ang Manila Hotel niya. You know, you know we are fighting Saan yung statistic mo? Yung sabi ng ilang patay? Now, I will tell you. Hindi totoo yan. The, the figures are wrong. You know, up to now, We continue, I, I continue to lose one or two or three on the average to, to, to my policemen every day. In Mindanao, I'm losing about the same number. So, sabi dito, uh, killed in police operation, 124. Drug-related, 49. So, Marawi casualty, 7. Wounded in police operation, 475. 
drug related 133 marawi casualties 87 killed in action 484 drug related 3 marawi 160 wounded in action 2020 pedia killed in action 11 wounded in action Now, itong number na ito, is not correct. You know, the war in Marawi was not an overt act of rebellion at all. Kung totoyin mo tala, if there was any crime without the oppressing, it could be sedition. But it was a rebellion in the sense that the police at the time Uh, was, uh, was serving, policeman was serving a warrant of arrest for one of the Maoti for drugs. But the thing done, they were met with the volley of gunfire and they had to call the, ma- the Marines. That day, nine Marines were killed. What caused it or what precipitated the action? Drugs. It was not an, an overt Uh, crime of raising a flag and shouting the sloganeering of the IC. It was started with a drug raid. So to this uh, figure you add now the policemen and the soldiers that are lost during the Marawi siege. Wala man silang sinabi na ano. Sinabi lang nila may bago silang leader yung IT. Well, some declared that there was no overt act at all in the beginning to tell us that there was a rebellion in the open. It was a, 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 a police and a, a gangster uh, shot out. So, the police doon well, and, uh, could not match the firepower of the other side. They had to call in the Marines. The Marines crossed that Pandy Bridge there. Patay na. At that time, we never know that it was still a revolution or sedition or what. Yan ang sinasabi ko. So, it, just because it is a, a, a civilian office, ang um, um, custom, it does not follow that I cannot act on the problem. Because the problem is not one of bureaucracy for incompetence or that they just don't know how to compute what belongs to the government. They don't know, they don't know how to evaluate. Hindi yan ang problema. There is no appointment because they are not eligible for The simple tones of this world really amazes me. So the, the, the army cannot collect. So you are not supposed to collect. You do not even hold any paper there. I cannot designate anybody, any army there to do a work. When I designate you, I must designate you and you must work for that office in connection with its function. How can I do that? When in Darby does not know kung saan yung mga where and what and the where we tell so what he is going to do. My, my actions there are not because of the national security problems. It's one of law and order. Talagang lawless yung yang customs na yan talaga mo. So, I am ordering the armed forces to gather their technical men and plenty their plenty of bright dyan, mga sundalo, from all to man all the well, it's like x-ray, but there's not, that's not, that's not the only equipment needed there. There's the yung pang way, ano, and, uh, para talaga ngayon, if the 
uh, Jagger says that uh, I need more uh, men to expedite because I said to myself, at any given day, I said how many containers? 7,000? Just only Manila. Manila, right? So, ako pa kay, ano ba si, si Rolly nandito? Ay, si, ano, si, kaya nga, Paul Jagger to, ganun rin kawain niya, but only a small scale. Tawa naman si Jagger, magin mo na, well, ako, kasi ito magsabi si Jagger, sir, I cannot, I cannot uh, do my duty with one X-ray. And if you really want a full probe, I'll have to open. So we'll have to buy it. And can we buy the X-ray? Mm -hmm. uh, what are yeah. we have? Oh, how many, how much is it? Uh, we don't know exactly how many grades. He's, he's supposed to give you the information this year. Ed, as I said, Danny Kumandon, how many do you think that would be an expedite matter? Because pagka hindi, you open it. Kung wala tayong x-ray na ano, talagang buksan. So you would need men to do that, manpower. But if you have the x-ray, and it's a good one, how many do you need? Um, we requested uh, a, a budget, sir, of uh, one point... Uh, Four billion for the X-rays, additional. Yeah. Yeah, but, but Mr. President, actually, it is impractical <laughs> to open all because that will flood the ports. So we have to do it on a sampling basis. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, and uh, do it on a random sampling basis, so that uh, uh, it will be statistically sound. Uh, because uh, actually opening all is not really practical. Yeah, 7,000 you cannot. Yeah. But if you add another machine, you will. No, but, it, it, <laughs> uh, uh, well, as a reserve. Yeah. Isa lang ba yan, no, 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 no. Marami ho yan. Ah, okay. Yeah, we, we have around 20 now, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, around 20 yes, sir. working. Yeah? Yes, sir, and we uh, need additional. And what we do, sir, uh, pag uh, marami, we uh, have the, this uh, square root uh, rule. For example, if uh, there are uh, a number of uh, one, uh, one uh, uh, shipper or importer uh, has ma mga 50, 50 uh, containers, we do uh, the square, square, root, square root rule, sir, for uh, sampling at random. And, uh, that will be uh, uh, for uh, a... Uh, uh, every uh, ten, we uh, we uh, X-ray one or or examine one at uh, something uh, at random, sir. Okay, okay sir. Uh, just one question: If there is no corruption, if there is no corruption, can we can we expect something? Wala corruption. Yung mga tao na matinot talaga ni lugay natin. Can we expect? Uh, uh, smuggling reduced by how many percent? We can reduce uh, smuggling, sir, uh, by uh, significantly, sir. Uh, if we, we are now in the process of automation, sir, and uh, we have uh, uh, we have uh, piloted the uh, itong one assessment. This will be a um, a uh, no no uh, human contact uh, assessment of uh, the. Uh, uh, the uh, pro assessment processor ng mga container van. And uh, if we are able to uh, uh, automate, then uh, we will have a, uh, a very good, uh, uh, a be very good uh, Average. Uh, address, address of the corruption, sir. Pati, sir, yung mga players dyan, mawawala. I think this is the re one reason why they, uh, they launch a massive, uh, massive uh, campaign against... Uh, against uh, the Boston when we launch the uh, automation zone. So is this, the, is this true for all the ports in the, in the Philippines that we have the, the machine to do that? No, Mr. President, uh, we do not have sufficient machines for all the ports. We have sufficient equipment for the major ports because we have over 100 
AK force in the Philippines. And uh, we cannot cover all of them because uh, it's just quite impossible to do it. So we have to do it again, opening by uh, at random, not using uh, X-rays. Even the small ports? Even the small ports, they, they do check. In fact, uh, during the incumbency of uh, Commissioner La Pena, he was able to stop the practice in Caguayan de Oro of release before payment and before inspection. So that has really stopped. In fact, I just want to commend uh, uh, Sid La Pena because during his watch, our collections went up from an average of 38 billion a month to 50 billion a month. And uh, his last month, in fact, I called him up yesterday to congratulate him, was historic high of 56 billion. So I told Jagger, well, Jagger, you got to um, meet that. <laughs> and uh, I, I account that to the fact that uh, the, the management of uh, SID has been quite uh, effective. However, again, you cannot shut the door to everything, although you try your best. Uh, under your order, where we will uh, second and detail uh, people from uh, other, other branches uh, of government, uh, I think will help because, uh, you know, you will reduce the familiarity, you will introduce uh, new people. But again, by law, that, that, uh, that system of second and detailing uh, can be uh, done legally uh, and I think it is, it's going to work. Dito sa Nasiano, si Jagger. Mr. President, you know, uh, Jagger is still... Uh, <laughs> he's still overwhelmed by what he has to do. Actually, he's working right now on uh, identifying... Yeah, yeah. Uh, we met yesterday and uh, also the right before the holidays. He's basically uh, making a list of all the personnel that he will require. And uh, he is also uh, reviewing all the procedures uh, that uh, he will implement. Uh, I just want to inform you that all those people that we will be seconding or detailing will have to undergo a, uh, an extensive training program because this is uh, uh, quite a technical job. Uh, and uh, I'm assured by uh, Secretary Lorenzana, that they have the technical personnel who can yeah. who can speed up that uh, training program. We, yeah, yeah, I'm more worried about the technical uh, things. Pero yung mga computation station yan, madali nang i-check yan. I mean, um, all you have to do is just to collate all the reports, and uh, you can get the true picture of uh, how much and uh, well. But I want uh, a similar setup in the provinces. Baski na yung malit that uh, a little over, uh, a little uh, just like one unit to keep watch. Yes, no, uh, uh, th that is the plan, uh, to do it system-wide. And uh, actually we were uh, doing the rough numbers uh, the last day of uh, uh, working day uh, last week and uh, we came up with a number of uh, 650 people. Uh, will have to be replaced. No, sir. No. Let me. Yes, sir. Oh. Is it, Mr. President, sir? Um, may I uh, recommend this, uh, strongly, sir, that uh, we expedite the automation. Um, if uh, my uh, schedule was uh, to roll out the automation by January, and uh, once we have that, uh, we can effectively address it on corruption and nangyayari, sir. Uh, that's the uh, solution actually, sir, related to the corruption that's ongoing because uh, mawawala yung human contact. And uh, the, uh, the revenue collection will also increase because we will not be uh, collecting uh, the uh, rightful uh, duties and taxes with automation, sir. I am hell-bent really in stopping corruption. I try that. Uh, many presidents of paid. Uh, I, have naman, uh, I would not name any particular one. Pero gusto ko na, baskiyan na lang ang maiwan ko sa 
buy and for. Uh, I, I, I can uh, uh, maybe be that uh, eradicate corruption. Well, Billy Dola is uh, good. I know him also. And uh, if there is no corruption, I think we will improve the collection. Uh, we need money. We cannot run without money. So you just have to collect. Now, the the person I was referring to, Kanina, who was killed in a shootout with the police also, was police superintendent Santiago Ilanan Rapis from Sambonga del Norte Provincial Police Office, killed in a shootout by CITF, PNP, during bypass operations in Baragay, Miputak. The Polo City last night, 740. Yeah. This, is, this is already a national conflagration. The police are there, and everybody else, pati yung mga, kayong mga mayor, pantay kayo. And he also want the barangay captains. I will get to you. One way or the other, maabot ang kapal kayo. Pag mag-abot tayo, sorry na lang. That's it. Uh, do not worry, I can go to prison. I am old. But now what I said before, when I assumed the office, that I am ready to put into the table my life, my honor, and the presidency itself. Kung hindi nila maintindihan, sorry na lang. Basta... Ay, ako yan. Kasi nilulukong pati yung mga military na yun. Lulukuhin pa ninyo. Tsaka ano, tama yan si Ping Lakson. Uh, somebody has to, uh, I think, uh, mag-usap kayong dalawa ni, at tatlo, national security of the LG pati yan. Yung suggestion ay yung uh, counterintelligence. Uh, you have to go deep Deep uh, Mr. President, <clears throat> just for your information, uh, Jagger was in counterintelligence in the army. He was in counterintelligence. So it should work for, for us, uh, that experience of this in counterintelligence. I agree, it's, you need counterintelligence there, as uh, Secretary Sid has said. Uh, we need a lot of bit counterintelligence in the Bureau of Customs. Kaya ni Jagger yan? Yes, sir. We'll just, support, we'll just have to we'll, support we'll him. We'll support him. Kasi naputang ina na talaga ako nitong customs na ito. Ever since high school, I think it was Klimako was uh, the once upon a time brooded to be the knight in the shining armor to destroy corruption on Adel. And that was about 25, 30 years ago. Tumayawa na ito. Ayaw ko lang dyan. Ako nandito sa gobyerno, ako yung, pati yung kayo sinulusot, papalusutan kayo magago. So, we'll go deep. And we bury them deep also. Ha? Yung... Yang mahuli ninyo, ibigay na yun sa akin. Ako na ang mag-tapo niya doon. Tsaka yung ano, ah, yun ba yung mga sindikato? Tagal na yun. Customs Police, yung Customs Intelligence, or is it? Maski sa amin. I should know. You know, I grew up with politics. My father was governor. Kilala ko na sila noon. Usually, uh, hindi naman lahat. Pero, uh, if there are exceptions, so very few. Uh, maski nung maliit pa kami, pinakamagandang mga bahay sa BIR kung hindi sa customs. Magagandang kotse kung hindi BIR customs. Sila yun ang una. 
Uh, sila yung pwedeng ano lang nakakapagpadala ng uh, anak nila. Hindi oh, man okay man yan. It's good, but you know, uh, they're better off than the others all this year. And we know it for a fact na ganon talaga. And yet, until now, it's, it's, they're screwing up uh, everything. Enough. So once and for all, we decide whether ako I'm determined. I'm ready to do anything at all. Anything. Basta mo mahinto na ito. I will go to the extremes. Anything. Kasi pawasok na ang you know, I said, shabu is the commodity for the poor. Kaya ayan sila, ayan lumalabas yung kanina. Kasi may dalawa siyang anak pa paaralin. Pagdating doon, siyempre, nire-raid. Maginda na ako naman yun. Sabi ko, yeah, ang, ang, they, they suffer in dignity, degradation of a human being just to remit money back to the Philippines tapos ganun ang mangyari. Baski na magparip lang sila, okay na lang, basta makatapos yung ano. Pagdating dito, ang inakinain na drug na, kung ikaw yung presidente, ah, ano gusto? You think you'll be happy sitting in your ass in this goddamn office tapos wala kang nagawa? Mag-resign na lang ako. Totoo lang. Pero luko-luko kayo, tataposin ko muna kayo ako alis. And so what? What to human rights? Well, go Dabs, uh, I know that you, you hate to stay here. Pero wala akong ibang tao ma, ano, na stay there, may, may point man. Ikaw yun eh. Ito yung pinakamalapit sa mga Muslim doon. I'd like to stay here. You can choose the place. Uh, kasi ikaw yung madali. Mag, you have the rapport because you are a Muslim. Madali. It's easy for you to magprakamprakahan na kaagad. So think about it. Uh, kasi wala talaga akong makuha ang iba. Kaya ang kita kinuha. Kasi brad kita. And I can always say sacrifice for the country. Isip-isipin mo muna eh. Una ako dito, salita naman tayo. Walang action dito eh. Except that you formulate a stand, make a decision, and that's it. It will you there out in the field, talking to the people there. Mahirap kasi kung hindi ano. But, uh, alam ko. So, pag-isipan mo muna. It's not because I do not want you here. Of course, I want you here. You're my classmate. May brag kita. Uh, the problem is, uh, it's not here. Is there. Eh, kung i-decline mo pa ako, sana ako makuha. Wow, ako nang abusayap. I cannot, I don't trust anybody. Well, my mother comes from Lano de Sol. May, may, Lord. Okay, kilala mo man. Sino doon? Maranao. Well, Secretary Alonto. He's been uh, here for all the time. But any one of you will do. It's not because I do not want, I want you out. Far from it. I need you. Well, to, Ano, pag-isipan mo muna. Mamili ka doon, basta it has to be there. We have so many Filipinos still. Nagpunta na nga ka. Still being uh, hostage until now. So, when will this end? Itong mga animal na to, makahidrak sila ng barko dyan sa ano, ng mga merchant ship. Ang 
Sabi ka, ako, bakit pinipili nila yung mga Pilipino? Bakit nila nilang birahin yung ibang mga ulul doon? And they always uh, select the, the... Filipino sailors. Maybe ako, you know, I, I, I established the report because alam nila. Marami hindi nakaalam na. Pero I get a warmer welcome than the others. Regular na tayong dalawa. We have uh, some minority at least uh, who the leaders. May problema ako. Ikaw mm-hmm. naman yung sino ang kunin ko. Yes. Uh, Mr. President, uh, maybe we can, uh, if I can have time with you after the cabinet meeting. Yes, for five minutes. Okay. So, yeah, uh, for the media. My last word is that I'm invoking national security threat. And what I'm doing is just assisting a former military man to do his job correctly. The problem, for them, it's peace and order. Maraming kawatan doon. Hindi nang tapos. Karaming sindikato dyan. Maraming umaman dyan. Lahat yan ang sabi ko. Kaya sabi mo to be selective. Ang iba sabi, baka sabihin ni Duterte, kawatan kami lahat. Hindi na. Eh putang ina. Eh bakit maraming lumusot na ganun kalaki? Diyan na. Drug menace is the number one threat to national security linking drugs, not only its significant influence in the rise of heinous crimes, but also how it negatively affects the economy and the role it plays in the corruption of our politicians, even in our law enforcement agencies. Tignan mo ngayong eleksyon, makita nila yan. Drug money will play... Ito. Kita mo handa nga ngayon itong naiwan ng mga kapatid, mga relatives ni Parahinog. Pinapatay pa pati judge. Talagang tarantado ang kotak. Kaya, kaya nga, ang, ang itong human rights, gano'n na lang sila kung mag, ano sa akin. Kundi na anong kalalim ang, ano, ang problema. It's, it's, a, it's a human rights against my... The, my country. 93 congressmen, hindi talaga ito sila active. I- ibalik mo po. Y- y- yung, yung congr- ah, yeah. 93 congressmen, most of them, yung mga leader, kasi itong vision itong mga uh, governor, mama, is magtawagan nila ang polis. Noong panahon ng ibang politiko dito, tawagan nila so yung isang bodyguard ng isang sekretary, si Garbo, isang pang ulol ng general, si Raulo. Yun. Pag tinawag dito, tawagan o si sekretary nila, huwag mong galawin, uh, sir, hindi, hindi totoo sa tao natin niya. Ganun, matagal ako sa politika, 23 years. Pero dito sa awa ng Diyos, walang, walang magsasabi sa akin ng patulong. Ibinawa lang, do not come to me for help, whether it is true or not. Better solve the problem somewhere else. So ang, ang ano ko, alam ba ninyo ang suerte ko? Nanalo ako, wala akong, bakit si Secretary Duque na siya? Sir, bakit ka nandiyan? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes, sir. I, I, I will uh, grant you the privilege of being late always. Uh, oh, no problem. Uh, as long as we understand each other. Matagal akong politiko. Karami kong nawala ng mga barangay captains. Because sabi ko, baski totoo hindi wala kang lumapit sa akin. But that, that, that made me really a, a mayor na, ano, na 
I never lost an election. Totally, totally, I was no president. Why? When I thought all the while that uh, during the first term, may ayare ako. Kasi dinumbog-bog ko talaga eh. Hanggang patayan. Pero, ano, kayong gusto na ang Taganabaw. Uh, 12 o'clock, sinubrahan rin ni Inday, 12 o'clock na, Corpio. O, di ba? Wala kang makita ang standby, wala kang makita ang alam tao na, convenience store. O, di tahimik. Gusto na lang taga-dabaw. Hindi na, it's not an impulse thing. Hindi rin, they are used to a, a peaceful place. O kano, ikaw si Bill Rosario, si Mato, asahan nyo mo, Ruli, si Delpin, ngayon nyo, pati ikaw, sir. O, kita nyo ang dabaw nyo. Hindi naman kailangan ng Marcelo. Patayin mo lang yung mga gagong yan, tapos. Wala na. Sinong ayaw ng Marcelo? Gusto nyo mag-hold up, o sige. Pagbigyan ko kayo. Ang mga ito mga kriminal kasi, pag-akala nila nang bibiro ka, ang tindi mo sila tinutuo, maglaki ang oro. Ikaw, Sid, you will my chief of police. Huwag siya nabi kung putang ina mo kung ito ka, papatay kita. Ay, di patay. O, di tapos. Ito eh. Task force na pa ako kaman mo. Kaya lang, pag naman time tayo, bumba tayo. Yan lang kasi tapo yun. In Mindanao. That is because we are in Mindanao. Yan lang ang takotan ko if it will go nationwide. Diyan mag-ihira talaga tayo. Pero you have 93 congressmen, vice governor, mayor, vice mayor. Ang problema nitong drugs kasi, you have to be caught discussing drugs and exchanging the goods for money. Sans that, kung istorya lang ba siya ako, magsabi ako, oh, may ako, Rodrigo Duterte, may hawak ako ng limang kilong drug kahapon. O saan na? Pinapaw ko sa Pasig. No case. Kasi pagdating sa kurti, sabihin ko, nagbibiro mo na ako siya. So what is your next move to produce the evidence? Sige, tinan natin ko nagbibiro ba yun na ito. Sabi ko, wala ko man. Kasi tinapon ko na sa Pasig. Di tapos ang istorya. Ganun kahirap mag-ano ng drugs. Kaya itong itong drugs, babuyan talaga ito. Binababoy mo yung bayan ko, babuyan kita. Huwag mo ako yung hot-hot of office dyan. Okay. There are 90 barangay captains and 107 barangay council members. If this is nationwide, napapasalamat ako. Kasi balang araw, bago ako aalis, dadalhin ko kayo sa libingan ko. Kasi gorado pag labas ko, papatayin man talaga ako. Pero isama ko na kayo lahat. Uh, para pagdating natin sa imperno, mga potang ina kayo, magpista tayo doon. Ang kainin natin, droga. Ang sabaw natin, marijuana. Naka, um, I'm sorry, but I'm, sometimes it, I, I'm the edge of depressed. So, yun na yun. Ang, nasabi ko na yung, but if you want to stay, wala namang security yung hindi ko. Uh, I, wish you, I will issue a memorandum, memorandum circular directing the entire government machinery to mobilize its assets and to take an active role in the government's anti-illegal drug campaign nationwide. Do not wait just like America. It's almost pandemic. It's not epidemic. But you know, 
we are no match with America if we have to set a standard about human dignity, about human rights. Alam mo bakit? Wala tayong pera. We don't have that sophisticated... Meron yan sila. Meron rin tayo isa. I think it's being used somewhere. Magdaanan mo lang. Mag-vertikan ka lang. Magdaanan ka. Then they can have a sense of what's inside. Parang naman mo. But it's, uh, it's a new invention. I think it's expensive, but they're using it now. Kung American, lubog rin ito sa... At ang, ang, asik, ang American naman kasi, kung magsintensya ng drugs, sobra ka yung libertarian, no? Eight years, uh, tapos twelve years, tapos may, par- may commutation, Parol. Parol-parol dyan sa drugs. Hindi ako magkano ng parol. Uh, also, uh, what we have is the moving forward to eradicate the illegal drug trade. That will be the National Anti-Illegal Drug Task Force. The task force will be composed of the personal assets from the PNP, AAP, Bureau of Custom, uh, Coast Guard, and the other agencies of the government. It can provide the necessary personal complement to carry out the directive of the President to uh, the Bureau of Customs to block the flow of illegal drugs in this country. That's about it. It's actually a national security problem. Kasi yun dumadaan dyan sa customs, Porto Nilada. Tapos, hindi tayo magkaintindihan. You know, ganito yan eh. Ngayon kay Sid. Sabi nila yung, ano yung, ano yung YouTube na yun? Yung papili. Alam mo, yung nakita sa Cavite, talagang may traces ng marijuana. Well, okay. He had, since he had admitted it. But, but that's what, uh, after the report was confirmed. Pero sabihin nila, worth 6 million. Now, you, you, the next time, itong mga abogado sana, isa ka rin, bakit, ma, bet, alam mo ba puno? Kung puno, but they are assuming na puno. Yun ang ano ng PDA, because assuming that that video there, puno, that's why they peg it at 1, 100, hindi mo na, wala naman. Yung nakita na ito sa line down there with traces. But they, they, uh, they wrongly assume na puno yun. Kaya from 6 million, they increase the... That cannot stand in court. Well, I don't know how much. Why did you assume that this one, what, the price of 121 billion? It's, uh, they uh, computed it at... Uh, uh, 6.8 uh, uh, million per uh, kilo. But they revise it? Yes, sir. They revise it when they uh, uh, they, uh, uh, not, they they had another computation that uh, uh, made the weight uh, the, the, the volume higher and it became 11 uh, 11 billion. Ah, sir. The way nila muna empty. Yes, sir. At pinuno nila. But that's an assumption. No? What was found about traces of meta? No, sir. Um, when the uh, when the uh, magnetic lifter were discovered, they were they, they were empty. There's nothing uh, in those lifter. And then when it was uh, swab for uh, it was tested uh, when it was swab for uh, for Russia for illegal drug, it tested negative. You see. And uh, and uh, even, no, no, uh, it was it. Even if it is really in, uh, there was content. My traces if I swap. None, sir. And it, kung baskin ako meron, bakit, from your it from 6 to 1, 121, 112. We were assuming na may na swap ka, but you are assuming you increase the price, announce it to the public, assuming that it was filled. 
to the dream. That's yes, why sir. it uh, was price, the price was increased. Yes, sir. It, it was uh, a, a, a speculation actually, sir. Kaya nga, sabi ko. Because sabi mo, mapuno ito. But what for you had was a swab. Yes, sir. But, uh, okay, we assume it to be positive. Why do you say now na uh, from 6 to 7? Because inas yung kaagad ng mga buang na puno ito. Yes, sir. It's a, it was a PDA, yes, sir. Uh, that was uh, that, that well, speculated, sir. Anyway, uh, then you, you fuel the suspicion of the public. It, it would be good to expose it. Of course, I, 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 I would uh, insist on that. Pero yung next time, you stop speculating because you feed uh, to the public a wrong information. Thereby, at, at a certain uh, point, you you know, ang, ang kumpiyansa sa tao mag, magbaba. Well, pinapatay na nga putang ina eh. Ito, you speculate na, na sinuwag mo, tapos meron. Meron traces. Then you say, ito. Ito, ang bahalaga nito, pero wala na. Ang halaga ka nito is 6 billion. Oh. Pero kung puno ito, 121. Pero kung puno ito, pagdating sa forte, huh? hindi, sabihin na, anong judge, why are you assuming? Sarang, um, drug kasi parang illegal possession of our hand. Either you have it in your possession. Because kung sabihin mo lang na mayroong ka, test mo, if you are uh, tested uh, for a uh, drug test and positive, you see any, you're you, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, may make uh, clarification, sir. It was not even speculated, sir. It was PDA, yes, sir. I know. Yes, sir. Uh, I know. I know. Yes, sir. Yeah, I know because sabi nga nila, itong magnetic uh, filter na uh, A lifter. Tapos sabi nila, uh, what, it, it, from 6, kasi, in the revised nila kasi, they assumed it to be, I said, filled to the brim. Yeah, yeah. Then, if you, whether it is not, uh, it's really meron, to baske na meron, what you, you they just give it to the public. Uh, and, you, anong tama? Do not speculate. Because it adds to the uncertainty and the suspicion that uh, we are coping or that we are in Punaiwans. Ako, ganit talaga ako dito sa... Sabi ko, Basta ako galit. Walang limit ang galit ko. So sorry. Uh, if you think that... Uh, hindi ngayon, kasi presidente ako, hoy, mga ulol, makinig kayo. Pagkatapos ko, kung gusto mong gumante, puntahan mo lang ako sa bahay. Baskit tulog ako, ipagising mo ako. Let's check out. Baba ang kita. Rama kayo masyado. Ang ginawa mo sa bayan ko. Ang sunod. Ah. Diba? Can you take the last shot? Di mo nakapusin ako. Ako mag-smile. Kung yun si Ma'am, kung maganda yan. Ha?